hi guys welcome back to my channel so i'm back with another video and today's video we have a special guest here we have my daughter she's finally here and she's a little bit sleepy but here she is So if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I had my baby two weeks ago. She's exactly two weeks today. She was born on the 12th of February. So today is the 26th. She's exactly two weeks today. So this is baby Rain. Her name is Rain Grace Johnston. So Rain basically means queen. It can also mean mighty. And it can also mean a song in Jewish. And she was given that name by her father and grace was my aunt's name and coincidentally she was actually born on my aunt's birthday which was really really amazing and it's also one of those names that have been in my family for over 200 years so it was time to name a new grace and then here she is so now for the labor and delivery story i went to the hospital at 41 weeks because I was already over and I was already two centimeters diluted by the time I got there. And they put me on Pitocin to induce labor, which I had to take a shot every two hours. So I took about 12 shots of Pitocin in a period of 24 hours. And after that, it actually didn't work. So that was the first round. So first round is actually 12 shots and you have to do it in 24 hours. So it didn't work the first time. And then you have to take another 24 hours break in between before you go to the second round. So I took a 24 hour break without taking anything and then went back again to take more induction. I was still in the hospital. So after taking the first shot, I started having some mild cramping and then a nurse came and did a cervix check only to find that I was now uh, three centimeters diluted and then my mucus plug was starting to come out in small pieces so things were going great then they stopped induction they said i shouldn't take more shots anymore because i was already in labor now and then my contractions started getting worse i remember timing them uh it was in the middle of the night they were like 10 minutes apart eight minutes apart but they were like not consistent and sometimes i would um, go up to 15 minutes without any contraction and then sometimes they would just come back to eight minutes five minutes and then come morning it was still the same i went to take a shower and then a big chunk of my mucus plug actually came out and then they came back and checked me again i was still on three centimeters diluted not progressing and ever since i got admitted they were monitoring the baby every six hours with a ctg monitor so they were monitoring the heartbeat they were monitoring the movements and also the contractions so they kept on getting reports every six hours and they were also checking my urine every morning and my bp and that morning things started changing they had to bring in a mobile machine they thought machine the machine that i had um next to my bed was not working properly uh the reports were like inconclusive and uh she was moving differently she was doing different moves that they couldn't understand what was going on and then came night time one of the doctors who was doing rounds he actually saw one of my reports and then he recommended that i stop eating for in case if i have to go to theater for a c-section i don't have anything on my system but they should keep on monitoring me so they were monitoring me the whole night and i was not eating anything and then came morning the reports were still different it was like a flood of doctors like five doctors they came in they spent like 30 minutes discussing my reports all the reports ever since i got into the ever since i got admitted and how they were changing and then they discovered that the baby is actually distressed so we were not sure if it was the first round or just the second round that actually put her in distress but they recommended that i stop completely with the induction it's not working and my labor is not progressing and then they spoke to me about c-section i agreed on everything and then they made me sign the forms the consent forms and everything and um they sent a nurse in to come and start preparing me so like enough nathan was there and then he was actually helping removing my gel polish on my toes because i had gel polish and it's not allowed in theater 
and um, yeah so from then I was prepped she I had an IV on I had a catheter that urine bag thingy on and um, signed some more forms and I was ready to go to theater that night and it was actually a busy night the hospital that I was in they don't really have lots of theater rooms there so I had to wait a little bit and then they came and fetched me at nine o at around nine o'clock will me into the theater and i still had contractions going on the whole day and i couldn't even sit still i couldn't even sit properly like two ladies had to hold me down uh like you know they had like lots of students there they had to like hold me down and i got my epidural and then i was numb from waist going down i got um on the bed on the operation bed with lights and then they started the process cut me open, took out the baby, and then they found out that the cord was actually wrapped around her neck. That's why I was not progressing. She was not going down anymore. The cord was actually like tied around her neck. I still remember everything that they were saying and he was like, oh, let's hope she coughed it out. And one thing that I was like praying for was just to hear her cry, like if I can hear her cry, because I had already heard them saying the cord is around her neck. And one thing that I was actually praying for was just like, please let her cry, let her cry, let her cry. And then she cried and then she started coughing. So she started coughing out the dirty stuff that she swallowed in there. Um, and then after that, the nurse went and cleaned her while I was getting stitched up. The nurse brought the baby close to my face. I saw her and confirmed the gender and everything. And they said they were, they're taking her to... The nursery for observation also to see if she needs to be drained because she swallowed this stuff and then they finished clean, cleaning me up putting me on the new bed and then i was willed to the recovery to the postnatal area and before i got into the postnatal area nathan was actually waiting for me outside and he was like ah babe did you see the baby and i was like yeah i saw the baby and he was like she has your nose and she's so white oh my god she's so white she has your nose and she has my hair and it was like just laughing and yeah we're just excited we're just happy and then they put me inside the postnatal area and um i had to wait for the baby the same nurse actually came back to me and told me that everything was fine they're still monitoring her for a few hours and they will bring her to me and those were the longest two hours of my life i couldn't sleep i was highly medicated but i couldn't sleep i was just waiting for my baby because i haven't held her so after two and a half hours they brought her she was like screaming for the boob she was hungry they brought her to me for feeding and then the moment i put my boob she just lashed immediately and started sucking and I was just crying, I was just excited oh my baby's here and yeah I spent the night with her in my bed and then in the morning there was a little cot next to my bed where I could change her and yeah she was already clean from the nursery she just had to change her, change her, di her diapers and put her in her clothes but yeah everything was fine, everything went well and we had to stay, uh, she was born on Tuesday she was born on Tuesday at uh, 9.55, so we had to stay in the hospital the whole of Wednesday, Wednesday night. And then Thursday in the afternoon, we were discharged to come back home. And we came back home. And yeah, it's been an amazing journey. Waited 42 weeks. She actually came exactly at 42 weeks. She only cries, like in the middle of the night, she cries when she has a wet diaper or it's time to for her feet. I normally feed her like twice, um, twice or three times in the middle of the night and change her like twice or three times. So yeah, it's been tiring but also amazing. And she also liked taking her pacifiers, her dummies, which is really, really amazing. So sometimes when she cries and I know she's not hungry, she's actually just crying for her dummy and she just goes back to chill and relax. And the only little thing is like she has um, a little bit of dry skin because she was overdue. She has been peeling, but it's actually clearing now. I've been using Avino baby products. 
and also Dove baby products. They seem to be working really, really good. And for her weight, she was 3.1 kg and height she was uh 51 centimeters so she's probably going to be a tall girl like her daddy and so yeah that's it for this video i just wanted to go ahead and introduce her to you guys because some of you have been texting me and i really really appreciate your messages do follow me on instagram i'll post more of your pictures and yeah i'll see you guys on my next one bye